Hey folks, Valentine's Day is coming. It's actually at the end of this week. Stick around and I'll show you maybe a romantic breakfast that you can prepare for your significant other. See you in a bit. Hey folks, here I am again. Of course, I could have made all this by myself, but since I won the best chance of success, I have Lady Fire with me, make sure that this uh, Valentine's dessert is as good as possible. Breakfast. Oh, oh yeah, it's You breakfast. were supposed to make me breakfast. <laughs> but it tastes like dessert. Actually, I'm gonna it have does, it. Uh, I'm gonna have it after we get done for sure. Now, if you want to be really sneaky, what you can also do is you can have, you can be um, drying your tobacco. And this one uh, was gifted to me by Mark from TPI, Tobacco thank Pipes. And, yeah, thank you, Mark. Tobacco Pipes International, a Sutliff Vanilla Custard. And so maybe you can kill two birds with one stone, you know, with this Valentine's thing. And uh, if your significant other doesn't like tobacco, the smell of it, this one smells really good. What's it smell like? Can you tell me what it smells like? Bread pudding. Bread pudding. Bread. So you leave it out, kind of you're drying it, you know, and uh, maybe, maybe you'll get uh, the significant other to let you try that one inside of the home. Do you know one thing? I think that after they finish with breakfast slash dessert, mm -hmm. they, may be, they may allow them to smoke the tobacco. Maybe, that's why. So that's, that's the brownie point. That's brownie points, exactly. So let's get started. Let's go with the ingredients. All right, take it away. Okay, so we're going to use four eggs. So okay. I'm, I'm going to break them because I'm faster. You're faster? And okay. you make them. Okay. Okay. Four eggs. All right. Do I start mixing maybe, right away? Let me, let me do my four eggs. And what I'll do is I'll put the ingredients on the, on the screen somehow so you guys can see them and have the recipe. And again, we always try simple things. So... Don't be scared by all this stuff. It's, it's going to be easy, okay? Yes, it is. And it's good, too. You, you don't want that in there. Yeah, don't, you don't, really don't. don't leave any of the shells in there. Take it away. All right, so I'm whisking this thing. These are hard ones. They're not even working. All right. So just four, right? Just four eggs. Well, actually, you can just want to save it. You can double the recipe and get me. Okay, four. Okay. Is that good enough? More? Yeah, a little more. Okay. You know that's a great way? Let me show you and then show you how to do it. Okay. The, 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 not the professional. The professional. <laughs> yeah, you just cut. Oh, you can make them faster. You think I can do that without making a mess? <laughs> They're very fire <laughs> Okay, that looks pretty cool. I'm glad we can capture that there. Okay, pretend you did that. All right, so after you do it just like that, <laughs> what do you put now? We're just going to add some cinnamon. Okay. And I'm just going to add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You guys, you know what? I, I always do my recipes. I, I don't ever follow recipes, really. I just adjust if i like more cinnamon you add more cinnamon right. if you want less you take a so that's a teaspoon bit. is that what that half. is half a teaspoon half okay half a teaspoon so am i whisking away whisk away right. i don't know if i got your method down but something like this no. you're close why does my doesn't look as pretty as when you do it practice Okay, so this I feel like I'm doing it left handed now. <laughs> right. Whatever works. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do vanilla. And I okay. use a lot of vanilla, so I have my big one. Okay. It's probably more than half. So you, it's like, have you better buy me another one? I'll buy you one. So okay. one teaspoon okay. of vanilla. Love right. this thing right here. 
All right. Woo! Go ahead. Whisk the way. Do you need a little help, let me know. Well, you let me know. Um, oh, it's pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Let's get that little thing out of there. Okay. And nice. this one, I just got add a little splash of, I have album milk here, so I mean 30 calories, so you can have use for milk. Okay, we're going healthy here, okay. And we're getting a little healthy. <laughs> After all that sugar we're going to put on here. <laughs> At least something's healthy. Something's okay. healthy. All right. Maybe it was just a splash. Okay. I don't know how she does this part, but she's doing the best she can. Okay. And that is actually that liquid part that we're going to, I'll say, bathe our bre bathe. Bread, yolk, bread. Okay. On. All right. So this part is done. Okay. We're done with this. Yes. So what? Well, we're gonna go through the other side. We're going to go to the other side. Okay. Do you want me to carry this? Yeah. I okay. think it's safer in your hands. I'll carry the camera. All right, here we go. So we're going to put this. I'm going to put it on top. Hi. Okay. To warm it up some. So just get one tablespoon of butter. Butter? Okay. About that much, here. okay. And just let it melt. All right. This is gonna take a second or two. Okay. Now, uh, should we show them what that type of bread is? Absolutely. Well, it's in the picture, but if you want to go ahead and show it, and the, this is pre oak. I hope I said that correctly. Okay. And the reason why I like this one is because it's a little bit sweeter. Uh huh. And if you see, it's yellow. It's not white like the regular bread. Although you can use whatever kind of bread you want. Does this one absorb more? To me, this one it absorbs more and it's just thicker. Uh huh. So it's just more moist. Okay. And it's, it's just thicker. And I just love the flavor of it. It's a very great te texture. So, guys, before you put it in here, you need to make sure that it's hot enough. I put it on high, but then I'm going to put it like medium high. It depends on every stove. It's a little bit different, so you may want to adjust okay. a little bit more or less. But this one is like I put it on medium high, like five. Five, okay. And, um, and it's just done quickly. It's just side to side, that's it. And the fun part of it is just adding all the other ingredients because that's okay. just so delicious. All right. I think that they're going to get first. Okay. Significant on Well, we're counting on it. But we're trying. <laughs> well, I impressed you. Yes. I, I was impressed for sure. It was a pre Valentine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll be celebrating all week. I'm yeah. going to get my you, see, you know where I got it from? Uh, we went out to eat and, um, and you ordered French toast. Uh huh. And I was like, you know what? I can do that with a fraction of the cost of things. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I can do that at home. And we always buy fruit and we always have this other stuff. And I'm always get very creative. And that's the little surprise at the end. Usually people will use a regular syrup to put on them. This is getting really hot. So we're going to lower it to five months. Okay. Okay, we got it. There we go. So let me give it a second. So I don't want to burn that. I lost my train of thought. But anyway, back to the French toast. All right, let's do it. Right. So it's going to be very fast. It's just going to be side and then the other side and immediately goes in there. Okay. So I'm just going to go a little bit closer to, so that we don't make a, a mess. All right. I think my point was that you can do better uh, meals at home, healthier meals. You can tweak it, add, subtract to your liking, and you don't pay as much. You save a lot of money, money. yeah, for sure. So, you want me? Yeah, the first one. Yeah. Okay. You do the first so one. So it is. Let me let me put it even more. I think it's kind of high still. So four. Okay. Then on four. So one. I give it a second or two. Other side. Try to get some of the egg off. I'm going to go 
And this is pretty fast. Okay. And like you said, this is kind of like a breakfast, lunch dessert. It's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna have it right now. Right now. Shall we make it? I'm just a quality control, right? Testing. <laughs> Something like that. Okay then. So immediately you turn it to the other side. See if it tastes a little brown. Okay. Don't leave it too long. You burn it. So you can even kind of take a peek and a little bit. So let me see. Do you have to mash it or press no, it? No, I don't press anything. No, okay. don't. Just leave it there. It's doing its magic. Oh. <laughs> I don't need to press it. <laughs> okay. Just make sure that butter is sitting in though. All right. I wish you could smell it though. Mm, I can smell it. Well, I know. It's just done. Good. Put it here. Second one, we make sure that the butter is in the center. Oh, yeah, center. Side. Oh, side. That was one I do that one. Here, here, you put it in. Oh, in there? Yeah, put it oh, in. I like this part. Okay, put it in. I'll do this one now. Oh, I remember what I was trying to say previously. Okay. Tell me. Um, it was that usually you use uh, regular syrup and butter. Uh, Black cap over here is your allergic to syrup. Yeah, I'm allergic to syrup. It's guys. allergic to syrup. So I'm like, okay, I have to be in, in creative here. You need to flip it through. Okay. okay. Uh -oh. I think you do a better job eating it. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's it. Oh, that's good then. That's good. Yeah. See, it didn't take that long. Less than a minute, probably, right? Yeah, quickly flip it. There Don't leave go. it there too long. Don't leave it too long. And um, so I had to get creative. So I created two different kind of syrups. One is butterscotch syrup, and the other one is one of his favorite, it's Nutella syrup. So if you want those recipes, yeah. you may wanna email me and say, okay, how did you do this? Uh, Lady Fire. I'll put the email down there. It's yes. gonna be Lady Fire, out, out, look, no, ladyfire19 at outlook.com. Okay, we wanna All right, get this ready. Out. All right, I wanna do this. There you go. And the second one. Third one. Third one. Alright. So we're gonna do this one with, with your favorite, right? We're gonna do it with butterscotch. Okay, butterscotch. Alright. Quickly, quickly, quickly. That's it. That's it. Gonna drip a little bit. Mm-hmm. And do it again. There you are. Let me put this away for you. We left the scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she was saying that she made those syrup because I'm allergic to actual real syrup. So um, <laughs> I'm actually also allergic to to the kitchen, I guess, because I'm afraid of fire and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, um, so I'll put the email uh, if you want the recipe for that. That way, you guys can email her and she'll give you the recipe for the syrup for the butterscotch syrup. All right. Go okay. ahead. You must be flipping this mm -hmm. There you go. See how that's done? I am going to actually use walnuts. Um, last time I used pecans. Okay. And what I do is just I uh, roast them. So I put them in uh, the pan. I didn't put it in the oven, but I just put it quickly in the pan and leave it there for a minute, toss it. So it will get a little bit crunchy. Yeah. Crunchy yeah. yeah. Okay, so while you do doing that, I'll do that. Is that done? That is done, my love. Okay. Okay. And we're just gonna roast a few of these, and so they look pretty. All right. I'll get this looking a little prettier. I'm gonna crank up the heat a little bit. So you're basically done with the cooking part. Um, now the rest is just decoration and, you know, just to make it pretty. Oh, decoration is the best part. I know, I know. But the cooking part is pretty quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, my butterscotch syrup for about 15 seconds or so in the microwave because this is already being pre-done. Okay. 
But you can use use the regular syrup stuff. Yeah, you, you guys can use any syrup. This is just just for me because I'm allergic to syrup. I think that's the best syrup. Ever. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Should I take it to the other side? Continue. Well, yeah, you can take it to the other side. Okay. But you have this and you have the camera. Let's do it right here. Uh -huh. Okay. This is so much. I believe. So what are we gonna bring out of these fruits? Oh, you wanna do it right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me put this aside. Actually, guys, you can also add Cool Whip. Uh, the other day, I made my own Cool Whip, or you can just buy it from the store, which is simple. It's not very expensive. I like that. That is pretty good. Did you put this in there? Yeah. 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 Yeah.